So you're looking to get the orange and teal look. In this video you will learn how to get the classic look with a few extra tips along the way. You're going to start off with one node. In the effects tab you're going to type color space transform. You're going to drag it and drop it onto the node. You're going to go to saturation compression. Then you're going to plug in your camera's color settings. For me it's Rec 2020 and Fuji F-Log since I use the Fuji X-T3. For the outputs, I'm going to put Rec 709 and Cineon Film Log. I'm going to name this node 709. I'm going to add another node. Here I'll put Kodak Select 2383. I'll add a few other nodes. Contrast, Saturation, and Glow. For the contrast, I'll click the brightest part of the image and the darkest part of the image. I'll bring down the blacks and bring up the highlights, crushing the two. Then I'll go to saturation, bring it up to about 90, and now we can see our color separation. These colors are due to onset lighting. Next I'll type glow into the effects. I'll drag it and drop it onto the glow node. I'll bring the spread and threshold all the way down so I can see the exposure amount, the gain, that I'm going to be affecting. I'll bring it somewhere in the middle. I'll turn the threshold a little bit up until the blacks are looking a little more rich and dark. Then I'll turn the spread up to 0.5 to create a soft look. I'll go back and adjust the contrast to make it a little more punchy. I'll adjust the blend on the glow so it's not as harsh. I'll still keep it a little high to make it a little more stylized. Next I'll add another node and I'll name it Vignette. I'll create a circle mask and I'll invert it. Then I'll go to the curves adjustment and bring down the midtones. This way, it'll look darker around the edges. After the vignette, I'm going to add another node at the end of all of my nodes, and these are going to be the blacks. I'm going to pull these down until on the waveform you see it touches the bottom. That way they're crushed. For the last node, I'm choosing to sharpen the image to give it more clarity. And that's the look. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. And click here for the next video.